Here we go. This is what I was hoping for. Listen, this is fun. With mine own eyes, I saw it. It was a scroll, not less than a hundred years of age. What? Did thy mysterious visitors whisk in and out again, and never tarry to take up the many riches here? Likely they were but grave robbers, seeking the cheapest of profits, gold and jewels. Too lazy to dig for the true treasure herein, and too foolish to recognize it even if they found it. Thou art by far too gullible, Sabine. Twixt the Burks and the Beast of Living Fire, what man could survive here alone? And he moved quickly, mayhap. Oh, and I suppose thy visitor had a lung of steel to swim neath the waves and thusly find his way in. Come, none could make their way here without the marvels of Lord Karis' creations. No, I think thou hast been taken in by our brother's humors. <laughs> oh, he first. With my own eyes, I saw it. It was a scroll, not less than a hundred years of age. What? Okay. With my own eyes, I saw it. It was a scroll, not less than a hundred years of age. What? Did thy mysterious visitors whisk in and out again? The only and thing never is. tarry to take up the many riches here? Likely they were but grave robbers. The only thing we want from up here is With my own eyes, drill. I saw it. I don't think we can avoid a, a first scroll. Alert. Not less than a hundred years of age. What? Did thy mysterious visitors whisk in and With my own Maybe. eyes, I saw it. It was a scroll. Not less than a hundred years of age. What? Did thy mysterious visitors whisk in and out again? And never tarry to pick up the many riches here? Likely they were but grave robbers, seeking the cheapest of profits, gold and jewels. Too lazy to dig for the true treasure herein, and too foolish to recognize it even if they found it. Thou art by far too gullible, Sabine. With mine own eyes, I saw it. It was a ah! scroll. It's possible With to make this eyes, jump, it. which is it was a the best way out. With I don't know if it's better eyes, to do it during it. or after the conversation. Ah! With mine own eyes, I saw it. It was a scroll, not less ah! than. A With mine own eyes, I saw it. It was a scroll. Ah! With mine own eyes, I saw it. Ah! Garrett, Garrett, Garrett. With mine own eyes, I saw it. It was a scroll. Not less than a hundred years of age. Something. What? Did thy mysterious visitors whisk in and out again? And never tarry to take up the many riches here? Likely they were but grave robbers, seeking the cheapest of profits, gold and jewels. Too lazy to dig for the true treasure herein. And too foolish to recognize it even if they found it. Thou art by far too gullible, Sabine. Twixt the Burks and the Beasts of Living Fire, what man could survive here alone? And he moved quickly, mayhap. Oh, and I suppose thy visitor had a lung of steel to swim neath the waves and thusly find his way in. Come, none could make their way here without the marvels of Lord Karis' creation. No. I think that has been taken in by our brother's humor. All right. So, the only thing we need out of there is the diamond drill. Brings our loot total up by a whopping 400 to 2557, and it's another bonus objective as well. There's only one way to there's one way to guarantee the mechanists never find their drill. Take it. So anyway, I like that conversation because you know, the both Garrett and the Keepers were down here before, but the Mechanists are so confident that no one could survive without Karis's marvels. So there's only one piece of loot we need to worry about in Site 1. <sighs> Head up, go left. If someone is there, then show thyself. Ideally, you can time the patroller better than that. <laughs> So, let's try again. 
get to a good wait spot and wait for him to come out. So that leaves one, seven, eight, and nine. Still three pickpockets to find. One purse and two healing potions. <laughs> For now, I'll clear site one, which is as easy as getting up here, crouching down. Name of the master builder, what can Lord Karras be thinking? Grab this Guard tapestry. If thou must Brings the total to 2632. Do it with respect. Hast thou not heard the new orders? Nay, I keep my gears grinding, not sitting idle and gossiping. Well, grind harder. Needs must we deliver not one crate, but two by the next reading of scripture. Hmm, twill indeed be hard to meet such a goal. Twas hard enough before. Aye, and wherefore such haste? Thousands of years this city hath held its secrets awaiting our eyes. Surely it can hold them another week or so. What? Art thou a hammer to moan and whine? Surely there is no task that cannot be conquered with sufficient wit and skill. With Lord Karras as my example, I shall overcome. And so shalt thou. Oh, I. <laughs> think we're safe from him right here. I like to listen to the mechanist complain about Karras. Get to this building. That's a good intermediate stop. He doesn't have a purse, does he? Is that thou, friend? No, but I am gonna need to get out quickly or good. So before I move on. I'm going to loop around, pick up Cavador, go Site 8, Site 7, Site 9. I want to try and get those last three pickpockets. There's the last purse. If someone is there. So this pivoting guard, we just found the last purse, which is fortuitous. He will be a leader of men. And he will be a wager of war, and he will be a shedder of sap, and he will be a spiller of blood. So I grabbed the potion off the stationary guard, immediately returned it. That was 8 out of 10 pickpockets. There's the last purse. 9 out of 10, loot total 2682. And if we wait right here, we should be able to get the last healing potion. Where is she? I know I saw her just a minute ago. Who treads there? Hmm, quiet once more. Okay, she's headed out into Site 7, so maybe I can intercept her on the other side. There's the last pickpocket. It's that gal's healing potion. <clears throat> Let's just grab it, drop it back on her route. Then actually I'm gonna clear site eight and site seven. And then go get Cavador. Just to take him to site nine. 
So there's the potion. Drop it on her patrol route. And I'm gonna make sure... Just double check to make sure I've got all the picks. That I've been counting right. Yes! Good. So... <laughs> for site eight, just get up onto the roof here. <gasps> Stick to the rooftops. <sighs> Drop down here, right next to the turret. It's the only thing we just need. Just a boiler. <laughs> oh, we need to drop silently, though, Garrett. You know how to do it, I know. In here, right next to the turret. Inside this box. A noise I'm as sure of it as the builder himself. There's a stationary guard underneath us who will first alert when we pick the lock. We get that gold nugget, brings our total to 2782. there. We, sh we should be able to avoid that visual alert, at least. <coughs> Skip out behind the turret. Come down here. Show you the best entrance to Site 7. You have to time this watcher. But and that can be hard to do, but you can get underneath it. There. Who goes there? And ideally do it without. Site 7 is the most crowded of the sites. But should be able to get in. And then once you get over to this building, redeploy another rope. Climb up. Mantle in. <sighs> So, in this dark building, behind the bucket, gold coin stack brings our total to 2807. Then, we want to hop on top of this building. Stay. Nice and well shadowed. When he's gone, we'll run into here, get the three silver coins, bring total to 2843. Gold coins up there, total 2868. And Garrett actually can mantle back onto the wall and get out to the building we came from. It's just. hard on him like mantling always is. This is also an option. So we need to get out anyway. Out here in what was our entrance area way back in the day. Get around all these Cog, corners. Oh, where was she? Doesn't matter much. <sighs> Have to get all the way over here into this building. And if you go upstairs you can find a valuable wine bottle. Brings our total up to 2918. <coughs> Good cog, is that you? So I'm gonna wait for her to pass by, then I really am gonna go get Cavador. You will be a leader of men, and you will be a wager of war. 
shadow, and he will be a shadow of sight. So back through site four one last time. It's just to get back to where we've stashed the good brother. There are only two pieces of loot left to get. We've got all the secrets and all the pickpockets, all the bonus objectives. All the objectives, except getting out with Cavador. Time to go, pal. There are only two pieces of loot left in the entire mission, too. One's inside Site 7, but we'll need a different entrance in order to very effectively get it. So I'm going to take Cavador right back through Site 4. If someone be there, then be speak okay, she's on her way, so... Wait for her to get here and turn around. I think she's turning around. <coughs> Just track her back to that first building. Central area. I think the best thing we can do here is take this route. and then we want to get up on top of the buildings just like we could do in Thief Gold. I think <gasps> this is a mantle point. <gasps> Slip through this balcony back here. Who's there? What? We're actually going to be better off crossing this area to that other shadow. If someone is there, then show thyself. Just kind of maybe have to move a little slower, or he can pivot like that. Either one will work just fine. What we need to do is get back up to Site 1. Just wait right here till the coast is clear. Make sure I know where I'm going. For the builder, the builder yes. does not... We need to get into that tunnel straight across from here. Just wait for the patrols to clear out. There are a lot of them, but I don't think any of them come through the spot we're standing in. Very 
good. As we move up here, we arrive at Site 9. First thing to do... Well, first thing to do is to get by there without getting spotted from Site 7, which is over to the right. And wait for that guy to turn. Or get clear, one of the two. And here's something handy. Attention, that the new schedule not slip, all work at Site 9 is delayed indefinitely. Receive thy new orders from the camp steward. Remember the gear asketh not why it turns, but keeps its faith and turns day and night never failing. Be thou the gear and the builder's plan. Well, that's terrific. That means I can leave Cavador right here in the library. Go get the last two pieces of loot, and then we'll worry about leaving. So... I'll go after the one in Site 7 first, because it's the hardest thing I have left to do. Just have to time the Watcher and all the patrollers, which is hard, and run out and grab that, grab that little jar. Harder than it sounds, believe me. So let's back up a bit so I can see where the Watcher is. Huh? Is that thee? <laughs> okay, so the patroller is gonna cycle out before I have a good opportunity to run, so. Just gonna wait. Huh? Is that the? I don't think we can avoid first alerts from those stationaries. But we can certainly avoid letting the watcher go yellow. I've done it before. Let's give it time to turn. Huh? What dragon? Is that the? It's about. This is not as hard as it looks, actually. You just have to get the timing right. I think we get a little bit more time if we have the watcher swinging to the right. Hello? Reveal thyself. was a memory of leaves flapping. Nothing more. Yeah. So you have to take first alerts from those guys, but... With that, most people without Taffer Patcher are done. You'll be 50 loot short at the end of the mission. In the, un in the regular version of the game, this last piece of loot is inside the rock and you can't reach it. But Taffer Patcher helpfully moves it out. Brings our total to 2988. That is all of it. All that's left now is to take Cavador and get out. We have one last trouble spot. There's one watcher in here that can be a little bit tough to get past. The key is just to run and drop off the edge and to strafe for extra speed. Finally, you want to make the dismount silently if you can. Yeah, that's not going to work. Maybe I can get over under it. Let's see, we have to make the drop silently. And we have to be a little faster than that, so I do think we probably need to wait for it to cycle. At the very least. At the very least, we're going to have to actually hit the sweet spot. That 
still wasn't quite fast enough. The advantage here, we have this go around. Good, got it. Now the one upstairs is one of the blind robots, so we just need to not make any noise. There's nothing in here. So we head up the stairs. We don't actually use Garrett's old exit. Go this way. Looks like my old route is still open. And that's it! It's all downhill from here. Nothing is as hard as kidnapping Cavador was. So there we have a perfect thief in kidnap. We had several supreme busts. We elected not to care about first alerts in Site 3, and there were a lot. We used an engine exploit in Site 3 in order to carry out the kidnapping. We also stacked boxes on an AI patrol route, and we extinguished Torch. All of those were supreme busts, but they weren't ghost busts. We never triggered a second alert during the kidnapping. Awesome. Took forever, but we did it. We also found all the loot, so it's perfect thief. Other supreme busts took a first alert getting the diamond drill from the robot only. We took a first alert picking open the chest inside Site 5. We took another first alert picking open the chest in Site 8. We took first alerts getting the Lost City Jar on the table out of Site 7. And I believe that's it. So that's all the busts. Let's look at our stats. 1 hour, 23 minutes, 30 seconds. 2988 out of 2988. 10 out of 11 pockets picked, that's just the ever-present bug. Picked three locks, one knockout, that's Cavador, not a ghost bust, required by an objective. Damage dealt, one, same thing, the one required knockout. Taken zero, healing zero, nothing and no one killed, no iron beast disabled or destroyed, found one out of one secrets. Campaign so far, 14 hours, 40 minutes, 46 seconds, 23,429 loot, that is all of it. We've dealt nine damage, the kidnapping in this mission, plus the eight knockouts from running interference, and we've received zero damage. That's it. It's over. Hardest thing done. I will see you next time for Casing the Joint. Bye bye